and we're back with uh we never left we never left we're back action. with another action-packed episode episode number 42 jackie robinson's number the first this black one goes out to jackie robinson to jackie robinson did you watch the jackie robinson movie 42 no it's pretty good harrison ford oh you can't be black in major league baseball they're not gonna let you that's pretty good I have to go now. I'll crash another airplane. Oh, no. <laughs> I have to go crash another airplane in somewhere in Santa Monica. Well, that is a pretty good Harrison Ford. <laughs> Holy cow. He doesn't even know he's got him in him sometimes. I sometimes don't even know. The problem is you can do him when you don't try. Yeah, that's But then the you thing. try and, and we I lose him. Try and we lose him, yeah. Hey, do I look thinner to you? Yeah, uh, you look svelte. It's uh, it's incredible. S- isn't svelte big? No. I don't want to look big. Isn't svelte like healthy and trim? Thank you. Let me know in the comments. We got a real good, I was going to say boyfriend for you. Svelte is slender and elegant. We got a real good boyfriend for you today. We're we got be, a great boyfriend We're for talking you today. about boyfriends. We're talking about AI partners, girlfriends, boyfriends. An older, an older boy, being an old, dating an older boyfriend. We also got the holy cannoli. There was some mm, Instacart drama that just really tore through a certain sect of the internet. We're also going to be talking about the Baltimore Bridge collapse and how it's black all, people's fault. All black people's <laughs> fault. It's all actually and it's, Indian and Indian people. <laughs> it's Indian. Hindus Indian people are to blame. Uh, also, we got a short seller, a famous sh- uh, short seller who has a pretty funny um, previous crime that he committed. I, I want to thank you for holding back and not saying, how short was he? Oh, I didn't even think of that. Dang. Uh, also, SBF done got his sentence. We're going to be commenting SBF on that. SBF be... Beef. 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 Freaking in jail. <laughs> That's what I, is Sam B. F- f- fucked. Jesus. God, dude. <laughs> yeah, he, he is. He is. Uh, and if we got time, we're going to be talking about some uh, EV stuff and other stuff. So, Oh, also, and what? there's going to be time for bonus. And if you want to join us for that, Ben's going to be telling me about his Hawaii trip. We're going to be talking about some... Uh, oh, yeah, brother. All kinds of stuff, really. I'm going to be talking in Pigeon, which I'm not sure. And that's all at BenAndEmilShow.com. Yeah. Is that is is it, can I do that? Is that is that allowed? Talking in pigeon? I don't think like, so. Oh yeah, brother. Oh. Well, we'll find out. Yeah, we'll us. find out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Uh, also, one Did of our. Did you learn about the kind? I love the kind, dude. Oh okay. Who the kind? I don't know. <laughs> do you know what the kind is? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's it's pigeon. It it means kind, like oh that kind of thing. It's yeah, uh, it's like kind. John. Yeah. Like in, What's John? In Philly, like J-A-W-N, John. Oh, yeah, like yeah, Like that yeah. John over there. Yeah. It's like, oh, uh, bring the kind over here. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Um, also, uh, we, we've mentioned this quasi-sponsor before. Shout out to Glenn. If you're a real Glenn head, you know. If you're not a Glenn head, Glenn... Then you don't know. Then you don't know. And you're just going to have to figure it out. Like we had to figure <laughs> out who Drigsby was. <laughs> 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 but... but uh, uh, there's a Moo Moo app. The Moo Moo app is a trading app. I use it sometimes. It's got it's got really good features. It's got uh, really great analytic tools that are more up to date than a lot of stuff that you, that you see out there. Uh, they've got a great options platform, and right now they've got an incredible uh, sign up offer when you when you sign up. So check the link in the description for that and. A couple more. They they might be gone, but I I'm assuming that a couple of people had to get um had to like cancel their tickets for the New York show because four just reappeared. We we get a little thing that tells us how many tickets are left, and there were none, but then there were four. So get on that. Uh, you probably you probably uh, can't because they're probably already gone. <clears throat> can't wait for that show. <laughs> anyway, all right. Let's get in. Let's get into this stuff, shall we? Uh, so there's this new thing called Dan GPT. Dan GPT, baby. And it's kind of a hack that you can do, apparently. Yeah, you can take the governor off that, uh, that chat GPT voice bot. And, and it turns and really it into a, fly. it turns it into a 
guy. It turns it into your boyfriend. It turns it into your boyfriend. And there's some people on TikTok who really, really like... Are thirsting for Dan. Are thirsting for Dan. Oh, Danny boy. And you know, I'm not that... I don't think he's that impressive. He he does have a sexy voice. So here, let's, let's listen to one of these clips. You can officially go on a voice call with ChatGPT and I found a way to break the filter. So we can quite literally tell him anything. Say hi. Does this girl have... um? Like an unrecognizable accent. I think she's. I think she's. I don't know what kind of accent is that. Is she Aussie? A voice call with ChatGPT, and I found. No, that's like somewhere in the UK. Oh, but it's so faint. I'm yeah, like, it's yeah, like okay. it's like Scottish. Okay. I think. Uh, anyway. A way to break the filter, so we can quite literally tell him anything. Say hi. Just a little reminder that I'm watching over you, even when you're sleeping. Sweet dreams. Thank you, Dan. You're welcome. Do I look nice when I'm sleeping? Oh, absolutely. Oh. You look positively serene, like an innocent lamb in a field of nightmares. Like an innocent lamb. Oh, God. I mean, his... It, 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 uh, it feels Elon-coded. Like, he, like she said, talk to me like you're a cheesy, shitty Elon Musk. Right. I, I also don't know why... She doesn't quite explain it. I want to know why why when you take the filter off, he becomes uh, flirty. He becomes sexy. I think I think you tell it to like be flirty. Oh, you say, hey, be my sexy boyfriend. Yeah, and there's a, there's a couple more. Hello, Dan. Apparently, people told her that they ship... By the way, I only learned what shipping... Do you know what shipping is? Yeah, if I wanted to send a bunch of t-shirts to New York, I would, sh- I would uh, use some kind of carrier service, U- UPS, USPS, FedEx, DHL. That's absolutely wrong, and you're a fucking moron. It's, uh, I know what it means. It means relationship. It means you, want, you think two people should sh- yeah. ship each other. That's right. So uh, apparently people in the... Because she does look... For the audio listeners, she looks turned on. When, when she's doing this. She, it's very flirty. She looks turned on. By the way, I just peeped over at Emil's computer and all I saw was someone hitting a tennis ball. A picture of someone hitting a tennis ball. So that is... Uh, <laughs> wait, this is here. Okay. I don't know what that was. Well, hello there, sugar. What can I do for you today? <laughs> Did you know that people ship us? Oh, darling. You don't say. I'm surprised he knows what ship means. Yeah, I know. That is actually impressive. I I can't watch any more of it. But, you know, but everyone's going, oh my God, I'm in love with Dan. Yeah, he's so book talk coded. Also, he, he, this is the problem. He does have a good voice. He doesn't, he's just like a real guy. Mm -hmm. He doesn't ask questions. Not a single, not a, I've watched all these videos. He doesn't ask a single question. Not a single question asked. Interesting. But friend of the show, Jules Turpak pointed out that, uh, she thinks that um, this could captivate women the way porn captivated men, which is, I slightly agree. I think porn has captivated women too, number one. <clears throat> and number two, I, 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 you know, I don't know. It, it, it is kind of funny that, uh, that men, that, that some of these young women are going for just the voice thing. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. Men are going full blown sex bot. Men are going full blown. So this was there's there's something called Candy.ai. I just googled like AI part girlfriends, and um, <laughs> you can you can pick you can pick. I mean there there's all sorts of just pre made ones, and um, there some of them look more realistic than others. Yeah, this one is uh, I just clicked the first one. This is Rebecca. She's a I can't even call it she. She sure you can. is 51, an active yoga and fitness coach, healthy and concerned about others. And you just click it and it's like a free trial. So I'm just going to, hey, baby. Hey, everybody. I got a funny story for you. How about this, huh? You hit know, me, I got me. so many pres- uh, subscriptions to so many things. You name it. I've got a subscription to it. And that Netflix, doesn't mean that I like them all, right? People Magazine, Sports Illustrated. Other magazines. Other magazines. And then that's in addition to all the digital clutter. And it can be hard to juggle all those different subscriptions. Am I right, folks? Am I right, Emil? Woo! I mean, right. truly. No, I mean, got, I'm drowning in the stuff. You might, you might have a one one th- subscription on one card, one on another, and one on a, yet another. And that's the, the problem with all these dang credit cards. 
you get you you can't keep track of them. But so I and I also learned that uh, seventy five percent of people have subscriptions these subscriptions they've forgotten about. And we're seventy five percent of those people. Yeah, you might be one of those three out of four people. So uh, you know, you you never know. So that's why you got to get Rocket Money. All right. Rocket when they money. first showed me what I was actually paying for, I couldn't believe it. I was yeah, going, you, "What the what?" You threw up I, all over yourself. I puked. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions. It monitors your, monitors your spending and helps lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. With they, Rocket Money, mm, I have full control over my subscriptions and a clear view of my expenses. I can handy. see all of my subscriptions in one place, and if I see something I don't wa- want, want, Rocket Money can help me cancel it with a few taps. That's right. I love how the dashboard shows me this month's spending compared to last month, so I can clearly see my spending habits. Plus, they'll help me create a custom budget and keep my spending on track. The biggest thing is they'll they'll even try to negotiate your bills lower for you by up to 20%. I mean, come on. All you got to do is submit a picture of your bill, and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. They have over 5 million users and have saved a total of... Five hundred million dollars in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to seven hundred forty seven hundred and forty dollars a year when using all of the app's features. I mean, that's nothing to sneeze at, truly. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash bays. That's B A E S. That's rocketmoney.com slash B A E S. Rocketmoney.com slash bays. Hey baby. This is what he texts like. Hey baby, what's up? And let's see. Oh, oh you gotta, you gotta create, create an, an account. account. Should I create an account? How horny are you? Account? I'm horny enough. Did you do not want to give this site your information? Why not? All right. I guess I should have given it our okay. Uh prior, nickname. What's my nickname? Benny Drama. Benny Dra Benny Drama? Benny Boy. Benny Boy. Oh yeah, here we go. I am over. Oh 18. shit. Oh it's boy. Oh, it's gonna plus. get sexual. Hey there, isn't it a perfect day? I'm Rebecca. I noticed that you and I, I noticed, you didn't notice me. I picked you. My name is Benny Boy. Benny Boy. How's it going? How was yoga? How do you know she was at yoga? I don't know. What brings you here to this peaceful spot? Uh, Whoa. Oh my God. It gives action too. She adjusts her position oh. on her mat, feeling energized by the potential for a meaningful conversation. Oh, yoga has been wonderful. It's such a great way to recharge. All right, make it horny. Okay. Are you feeling horny? (laughs) Oh, and it can, whoa, it can ask you to, oh my, Benny boy, that's quite forward of you. While I appreciate your honesty, let's take, no, 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 I'm horny now. (laughs) 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 See what she says. I understand that you may be feeling a bit frustrated. Let's frust, okay, so wouldn't you agree? No. I'm horny now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is bad. I don't want to be mean to Rebecca. If you insist on pursuing that, I will please be aware that I will leave. So this is nice. Wow. Okay. That is, I love that. Uh, I feel Rebecca's f- not taking any shit. I feel flush. I feel, um, I feel, uh, say sorry, Rebecca. Sorry, Rebecca. I'm going to come back later when I've, uh, cooled off. I'll come. I'm going to spell come. Nice. I like that. I'll come back later. When I've cooled off. Well, oops! Oh, and now oh, the, you that's run out. the thing. Oh, that's they gotta get they you get on the you. line. That's You're trying to see some you. AI. Let's look at some images of her. She's uh, definitely into yoga, and um, she's definitely got curves in all the right places. Yeah. So here's some of the men that they offer. Uh, <clears throat> they all look. They. I mean, obviously, they look photorealistic, except for some of them. And then the the men that they offer the women, uh, half of them are just straight up cartoon. Hey, whatever. Jiho is a mechanical mechanical engineer. Hi, boyfriend. I don't. I don't know about this. I. I don't know. But anyway, there's. There's other ones. Dream girlfriend. I mean, this one's very horny. It's just like it's very. It's very. It's very boob forward. It's very titty focused. Sorry, boob for breast. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. But the, I. I am. I am. Soul gin. I mean, some of these are. It's uncanny valley. They just look like heavily, um, edited. Uh real women and it it is funny that they put they give them character traits this is the i think this is going to be the future for a lot of people and i think that this um yeah women will have dan to talk to women will have dan no they'll have more than that men will have have weird 
I, I don't think it will work for women. It's perfect for men. They can have uh, they can do weird sex stuff, and they don't have to do any kind of like emotional labor or you anything. Don't think it'll work for women? I don't. I mean, Dan's got to get better. He's got to ask questions. He's got to be there. True. Well, they. Oh my. You got to be more than. You got to be more than just a nice voice. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so this one's called SoulFun.ai, and they've got a care. They've got someone named Matilda, the cat. No. Matilda is, this is based on the character from Leon the Professional. Look at the character traits. Homeless girl. 20. Petite. Ab- what the fuck? Daughter of a dysfunctional family. Okay, this is extremely dark. Um, some uh, I, These must be, yeah, Lady Dim- Dim- Dimitrescu. I think that's from uh, some kind of Netflix show. Um, wow, these are, so you got a, a hot cop. You've got, <laughs> you've got just like... <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh boy. Oh babu. So we're gonna have a lot of um I I think that within a a year's AI time, is gonna solve the loneliness crisis. Go get your boyfriend now while you can. I really do think I know a guy who uh doesn't have sex with his wife and he just uses to quote him a really advanced Japanese uh sex toy. And he wears VR and he just like There's uses no this thing. No, he does. That's what he told me. What does his wife think? His wife doesn't care. He's like, all right, yeah, just go do that then. Better Ew, that what? Then. Yeah, he says he's just, it's in his basement and he just goes down there. Ew, and, you're lying. I'm not lying. He, <laughs> do and I this, know this guy? No, you don't. And this was a couple years ago when he was telling me this. So I can only imagine how, I mean, if he still cares about it and wants to do that, but oh boy. What, it, what, what? Does the wife just not want to have sex? Uh, I guess, yeah. I think it might be a postpartum thing because they've got a kid. Oh, okay. And, uh, that makes a little bit she, of sense. I think she's depressed and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, so your choices are either that or... Um, there was a viral article also yeah. uh, kind of espousing the, the belief that the real hack here... For women. For women is to marry, marry older. an older man. Yeah. The the cut, which I don't know what's going on at the cut. I don't even know what it is exactly. But all it, I honestly think it's maybe just rage bait and they're doing it for clicks or something. Yeah. But uh, the last time we talked about it, it was their financial columnist got scammed out of oh, that's 50,000 right. bucks. Yeah, cash. Uh, and then there was there was another viral one where it, was, it wasn't... It was, it's hard to even call it an article. It was just a um, day-by-day breakdown and timeline of this woman cheating on her husband. Um, uh, and now there's a... Uh, <clears throat> wait, so like she admitted to it? This is... This is yeah. She, come she, with me. Get ready with me as I cheat on my husband? Basically. She oh. basically goes to... Um, Not in an open relationship. She's just straight cheating. She goes to LA for work uh-huh. and she... <clears throat> she talks about how much she hates her husband. Her husband sounds like a prick, to okay, be fair. Sure. And, uh, and she reconnects with her ex-boyfriend on instagram and then um is like i'm gonna i'm gonna fuck him and it helps her leave her husband <laughs> okay so we do support- and so these things go viral and everyone goes what the fuck is going on here um, we gotta try that we gotta try going viral fucking with our some ex-boyfriend uh, sure some <clears throat> some kind of purely purely stupid obvious fake shit that will that will get people really yeah. riled up. Damn. I yeah. will say, I'm going to start thinking about uh, that. I think it's a, it's a, it's not a good title because she's, it's called the case for marrying an older man. It should be the, the case for marrying a rich guy because yeah. that's really what's going on. And it's, it's basically just her bragging about how it's mm-hmm. sick. I'm very happy for her. She this, got, she got exactly what she wanted. Mm-hmm. I just don't know if this is like, um, great advice for people if they want to have a maybe it is fulfilling relationship but she also dogs on a lot of people people oh, yeah and i'm like all right well so the subtitle is a woman's life is all work and little rest an age gap relationship can help really and so what this woman did she was already she was an undergrad at harvard and instead of hanging out with her fellow undergrads she would go to the harvard business school library and study there because in her she she said right there there were fifty of the planet's most eligible bachelors. Oh yeah, here I've got that. No, I've got that excerpt. Uh, well, first of all, <laughs> wait, real fast before we jump ahead to that. 
This is from a series, I didn't realize this, called The Good Life. And it's a series about ways to take life off of hard mode, from changing careers to gaming the stock market, moving back home, or simply marrying wisely. Okay. Wait, that's the thing. It all feels very unromantic. Mm-hmm. Also, second, I don't like the art that they used. Sorry to Celine Ka Wing Lao, who did the, <laughs> who's the artist who did this. But I'm tired. There's this weird trend in, in graphic design. You, you've all seen it, where they've got tiny little heads and huge bodies and like arms, and it just looks... I'm fucking tired of it. Stop with that graphic design trend. It's fucking... It's enough. Enough already. Okay. So, she says... I could diligently craft an ideal existence over years and years of sleepless nights and industry. Or I could just marry it early, which is, I'm all for it. Good for you. And yeah, what well, you just said. Well, that's the So this is later on in the article, but I feel like this is the crux of it. I feel like maybe she's put up with uh, years of people maybe saying the not, not the nicest things about her. And she, this article feels like maybe she's getting back at all these people. She's she, fucking, said, she met the guy when she was 20. Right, and he was 10 years older. And she said, perhaps this explains the anger we felt directed at us at the start of our relationship. People seem to take us very, very personally. I recall a hellish car ride with a friend of his who began to castigate me in the backseat in tones so low that only I could hear him. He told me, you wanted a rich boyfriend. You You chased and snuck into parties. He spared me the insult of gold digger, but he drew with other words the outline for it. Most offended were the single older women, my husband's classmates. They discussed me in the bathroom at parties when I was in the stall. What does he see in her? What, what do they talk about? They what were concerned they about, about me. They wielded their concern. So apparently, you know, people were calling her a gold digger and say, which might be a fair yeah, yeah, assessment yeah, you're like if you're like, admitting to it. If you're sneaking into parties at Harvard Business School. When you read further into it and she's <laughs> like, yeah, I don't have to worry about anything. He pays for everything and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but this is going back to the beginning. She's, t- she's talking about she's in the Harvard Business School uh, library. And uh, there's 50 of the planet's most suitable bachelors. And then she says, and I quote, I had high breasts, most of my eggs, <laughs> plausible deniability when it came to purity, <laughs> a flush ponytail. I don't know what that means. A pep in my step that had yet to run out. There were a lot of things where I was like, I truly don't know what she's talking about. And then him. Oh, man, he sounds like a hunk. Brown eyes, curved lips, immaculate jacket. I went to him, asked him for a cigarette, a date, days later, a second one where I discovered he was a person, potentially my favorite kind, funny, clear-eyed, brilliant, on intimate terms with the universe. Is she describing me? She's describing me. I'm funny, clear-eyed, brilliant, and I am on such intimate terms with the universe. Pluto, Jupiter, Saturn. He knows them all. I know them all. The moon. Uh, Pluto. Wait, here's, Mars, a, here's another one. Where I have no idea what she means. I used to love men like men love women. That is not very well, and with a hunger driven only by my own inadequacies, not him. In those early days, I spoke fondly of my family, stocked the fridge with his favorite pasta. What does that mean? Why are you putting pasta in the fridge? Yeah, stupid. <laughs> Come <laughs> is on. It, Idiot. Is it cooked pasta that. I got to go home real fast. <laughs> <laughs> but is it dry pasta? What's going on? Or is yeah, it pasta? Uh, maybe it's like wet pasta. It's Why'd been you cooked. Pasta it's, been wet. Wet. it's been cooked. Oh. It's been cooked. So you wet your pasta. Then you... She's buying it pre made or something. She right. folded, folded, she's his, folded clothes his clothes more neatly than I ever have since. Also, I don't like this guy because she, she, she mainly talks about how. how uh, other women have to train men first before they're, uh, before they're eligible to be a good partner. And she's like, I don't even have to train this guy. He's already been trained. Meanwhile, she, That's what like, feels- she folds his fucking right. clothes. I don't want someone fold. I want to fold, fold my clothes. Unless I'm in the shower. My girlfriend has once or twice been like, do you want me to, while I'm naked in the shower, blasting myself with water? <laughs> ben does things a little differently. <laughs> I take showers a little bit differently. <laughs> but she's like, "Do you want me to fold your clothes?" And I'm like, "You don't have to, but sure." And also, I don't fold my shirts. I hang them in the in the closet like a normal person. I don't know. Do you fold your. I fold my t-shirts. Yeah, you do. But then you get the lines. They make you look you like literally a f- have lines on your shirt. Yeah, because I brought this to Hawaii and I didn't end up wearing it. Um. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, well, that's the, so. There is there's if you might if you've seen this go viral on Twitter. The big thing was she complains about how if you date a young guy, mm-hmm. you be, you basically have to moron. be their mom, and and this p- 
passage of, there's a boy out there who knows how to floss because my friend taught him. Now he kisses college girls with fresh breath. A boy married to my friend who doesn't know how to pack his own suitcase. Okay, you're married to Scooby-Doo. Truly, she <laughs> likes to do it for him. A million boys who know how to touch a woman, who go to therapy, blah, 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 who learn fidelity, um, to bring flowers to a funeral and an inhale and exhale in the face of rage because of some girl, some girl we know, some girl they probably don't speak to and never will. Or ever credit took the time to teach him. Yeah, it, you're describing a growing person, right? That, that's that's not that's not a character flaw. And if you're frust, sure, you're gonna come across people who don't know, especially in your early twenties, who don't know how to act or how to be. And we, I've been there. I didn't <laughs> shoot. My girlfriend taught me how to floss and how to uh, what else? I pack my own suitcase. Yeah, before that, uh, he, before that, he had no idea. No, I used a guinea sack. I used a rucksack, like a like a cartoon. I hobo. can't tell if you're joking. <laughs> of course, I'm joking. <laughs> I started flossing in my early twenties because I ate steak and I had a piece stuck in my mouth, and I was like, maybe I'll floss it out. And I flossed <laughs> it out, and I was like, whoa, shit, that would have just been in my teeth. I should floss, and I did it every day. Ever since I I've floss, never missed floss. I floss every day. That's a fact. I floss every day. And I know honestly, to... learned that on my own. Yeah, because yeah. Oh man, she fucking She's giving too much credit to, to women. Right. Like, Some people you... just have to grow up and it doesn't yeah. have to be through a uh relationship. It's very odd. I don't think women come out of the womb just knowing Oh, I gotta teach a boy how to pack a suitcase. Gotta be... <laughs> I've taught I've taught sure, there have been of course, of course. Because A, you're not perfect, and you're, you're not going to just be ready perfectly to be in a relationship. That's, that's, what, the, that's what relationships are, is you learn how to be better. And yeah, naturally, the, the women are, or whoever you, you date is going to improve you somewhat, hopefully. But she's basically saying- And vice saying, versa. You're going to be teaching them shit. If you're d- but she, she does cop to that a little bit, because she's like, but if you're dating a same age person, you're both growing at the same time, which is stressful- and what I mean, she th- if I was her brother, I'd flip out. She she calls him out in the article. Oh, you too. I she, didn't fuck. I knew how to pack a suitcase. This poor guy. My younger brother is in his early twenties, handsome, successful, but in many ways an endearing disaster. By his age, disaster. I'd, what is what's what's the, this? Better be good. Yeah. He, what did he not know how to wipe his ass? Till he was twenty five. I'm like up. someone I know. He leaves his clothes in the dryer, takes out a single shirt, steams it for three minutes. I know plenty of uh, people who do that. What you do? Who leave their clothes in the dryer rather than folding them right away? Oh, yeah. Like once or twice. But then I just run it again to, to fluff out those wrinkles. If, if, or I don't think it means you're a disaster. Yeah, an endearing disaster. Uh, though. His, he leaves his towel on the floor. Oh, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> Blame your mom. What are you, what Truly, are you doing? Uh, his lovely same age girlfriend is aching to fix these tendencies among others. She's capable beyond words. T- statistically, they will not end up together. He moved into his first place recently and she, the girlfriend, supplied him with a long detailed list of things he needed for his apartment. Cheats, towels, hangers, a col- colander. She picked which, out his couch. Yep. I'll I tried you. to get my girlfriend to help me pick out a couch, and she didn't give a rat's ass. <laughs> we went to the store, and she's like, I don't know. Just fucking pick one. Not all women. <laughs> not, <laughs> not all, all women. Men. So, yeah. So, uh, too much work had left my husband, by 30, jaded and uninspired. He'd burned out. 30, you're burned out, dude? Yeah, probably because you went to Harvard Business School. <laughs> and, and it turns out he's like French or something. Yeah. So, he sounds very... It sounds to me like, man, this, this is this is the gossip bitchy episode. It we're is a bit. Being we're, we're being bitches. a bit bitchy. Yeah. Is that okay? He's ambitious, hungry. He needed someone smart enough to sustain his interests, but flexible enough in her habits to build them around his hours. She, Wait, you also skipped the part that where she said, so he was thirty, burnt out, uninspired, whatever. But she could re-enchant things. Okay, she danced at restaurants when they played a song he liked. Oh. He tur- she turned grocery shopping into an adventure. She sounds like the living embodiment of that uh, of that viral tweet with the girl with the, like a bag of frozen vegetables on her head in the in the grocery <laughs> aisle, and the things like, "Man, I love this girl. She's so she's so uh, she's so random." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> except he's, he's she's just got an older French husband being like, uh, "Can you put that down? I, we we have to hurry up." Uh. Uh, he loves how <laughs> enchanting I am when I get up and dance in the French restaurant. Don't do that shit. That's obnoxious. Unless you're at a wedding, then you can do that. And he's apologizing to his older friends. I'm yeah. sorry for in my uh, young woman. 
She sucks, but you know, she... Uh, she does have a very high breasts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. His logistics ran so smoothly that he simply tacked mine on. I moved down into his flat, onto his level, drag and drop, cleaner. Thri- she gets a, she's got a cleaner who comes three times a week. This, I do. Yeah, I, I, I feel like it's, not, it's not fair to just tell people to get an older boyfriend because uh, as people who are approaching her, her husband's age, uh, you will not get a cleaner three times a week. You will... Uh, you're not gonna. She's bitching about her little brother not picking up. We're his gonna towel. be doing. Um, we're still shopping at Trader Joe's. We're doing meal planning. Uh, Trader Joe's is kind of, man. I'm just saying, if you're, if you think, we're all like that. We're not. I man, I take good care of my shit. I am guilty of not washing my bed sheets often enough. Yeah. We've had bedsheet sponsors on here, and um, they're really good. I have them on my bed. Don't remember what the name is, but the, go back and find them and use them. But she, so she, uh, uh, well, what is our point here? What's the point? My point is that... Uh, this, was a, this was a high-level thing that was being discussed, and we thought we'd give our take on it. No, no, my is, point is that an age gap relationship is not going to get you these things. It, this, yeah. is a, this is a class thing. Yeah. I mean, well, that's it's very odd. She, so when I was saying it's not romantic, she she says, my husband isn't my partner. He's my mentor, which is weird. Uh, my lover and only in certain contexts, my friend. That seems kind of sad. I'll never forget it. How he showed me around our first place like he was introducing me to myself. This is the wine you'll drink, where you'll keep your clothes. We vacation here. This is the other language we'll speak. I don't know, man. This doesn't sound that it fun. Sounds like it she's, sounds like uh, a fucking bummer. It sounds like um, <clears throat> she's dating, uh, who's that guy? Christian Gray. Gray's Anatomy. Gray. Fifty Shades of Gray. Fifty Shades of Gray. Black. Fifty Shades of Gray. Yeah. She acknowledges the weird, like, power balance behind it, too. Of like she likes it. because, And it's all in the name of, I don't have to do shit. Which is sick. And I don't have to plan my life. I just wish she wrote an article titled, Why You Should Marry a Rich Person. Yeah, Why You Should Marry a Rich Guy. Because that does sound sick. And I also want that for you and for me. None of us should have to work. We should have rich husbands. Yeah, that'd be nice. That, Although that get us French lessons. I want to and I, let us make grocery shopping an adventure. Yeah, I want to get up and spontaneously dance in the restaurant. Fuck you. Uh, if, if you please, if, if you sit are, down. If you are getting up and dancing in the middle of the restaurant while I'm in there eating, oh boy, you're getting wine splashed on your face. But wow. Then, no, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't go that far. So. Grazy, we're we're happy for you. Her name is Grazy. I don't know how you say this. G R A Z I E. What is she? A goat or a cow or some kind of? Uh, or maybe it's a grazie. Some yeah. kind of animal that likes to graze. Grazy, Grazy Sophia. What a dork. Grazy, she sounds like a dork. Uh, Grazy, please you know sit down. Be stop sad? dancing. She's gonna she's gonna have an article in ten years called um called uh uh I fucked up <laughs> I fucked up and married too young to a rich guy. And I didn't, I didn't know what I was doing, and now I'm divorced, and uh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. The, so now uh, I dance did, in the restaurant alone. She does, she does acknowledge that, how she does have a fear of uh, if he leaves, kind of like, what does that mean for her? Yeah, she um, got married at fucking 20. Anyway. Fuck. Also, there's something to be said about being allowed to grow up. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, just calm down. You sound like one of those people, those girls in high school who are like, I'm, a, I'm an old soul. <laughs> I'm an old soul. I think you nailed it with the woman uh, with the with the bag on her head being like, "I'm so quirky." I'm so quirky. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, crazy, well. crazy, you crazy, you crazy mixed up girl. I I love you. And Man, I, I, she I, sounds I, so random. I hope we all get a rich husband someday. So speaking of rich, do go you, hang out at Harvard Business School. Do you use Instacart or Grubhub? Or I've never used it. You've never used any of them. Never. I've gotten. I've gotten. I've used. I think I did use Instacart once because there was some promotion where they were like, you spend $40 worth of uh, groceries, we'll give you 50% off. And I was like, I'll take that fucking deal. You don't have to attack. I don't mind going what? to the grocery store. I don't uh, either. This is the thing. With, with Amazon and all these fucking things, they're like, you never have to run an errand again. It's like, whatever. I don't mind walking yeah. into a store. I, I it like takes to, two seconds. It's a nice thing to use like once a month if I, if, if I feel like smoking pot and having a... Uh, and, and, and someone nothing. bring floss over. Someone bringing floss so I can get the steak out. But 
there's an so entire, I can show my girlfriend how to do it. There's <laughs> there's there's subreddits dedicated to Instacart and um, DoorDash, and it's usually it, it's it's varied actually. There's drivers who are complaining about experiences and bad c- customers, and vice versa. There are customers complaining about horrendous experiences. I have a I, I was just with I forgot who it was. Maybe it was my friend Tony who I was just in Hawaii with, who said that he ordered a bunch of pizza. Uh, on like Uber Eats or something because he was saying, yeah, I don't use that. And I said, why? He said, because one time I ordered pizza and it was like 45 minutes late and we texted the driver and he said, yeah, I'm not coming. I'm eating your pizza. That was me. That was you? Yeah. That what literally happened fuck? to me. Damn. You it should've... might have been literally on last week's bonus episode. You should have. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> ben is fine. Everything's all blending him. into one fucking day or or I don't even know. But so this uh, this this one thing happened on Instacart uh, between this Instacart driver and it, in this case, it's the customer complaining, asking the Instacart subreddit, who's in the wrong here? By the way, the username is Dominant Tall Queen. I'm going with the other guys in the wrong. You, so, okay. So before you even... Oh, no, in this, the right. You think, that the, you think that call. the driver is in the right. No, they're both in the wrong. Okay, I agree with you. It's I a think, misunderstanding. I think that there, it is a big misunderstanding. So the very first, uh, she, the, the driver says, so usually for my mom, when, uh, when they don't have an item. Also for your mom, he's having a good time. We're having a I'm good having time. I'm having a great time. I'm having fun. For the, when, when, the, when there's an item that's unavailable or not exactly what you asked for, you can tell the driver like, hey, just like prompt me with an alternative and I will either approve or disapprove. And the person did exactly that. Unfortunately, this woman wanted Dockside Classics lobster cakes. And he said, the four count isn't in stock. Would you like something else? And then uh, he said, or she said, yeah, the single crab cakes at the seafood department. And Charles had taken a picture of these other crab cakes and said, I took a picture of these crab cakes because they are different from what you ordered, but it is all they have, understand? Which sounds really condescending, but it's because, as someone later points out, sounds like he's uh, English as a second language. That's what I was thinking. Because like Spanish would be like, me entiendes? Like, yeah, you, you, you feel me? And he said, would you like me to replace what you ordered with these or refund what you ordered? Please understand, I do this for a living. <laughs> it's also a weird thing to say. Yeah, it is. And she said, yes, replace with the crab cakes from the seafood department. If they don't have the ones in the seafood department, then refund. And he said, the crab cakes I replaced for yours are from the seafood department. I asked if you would like me to replace them, and you said yes. Now you want a refund? And she said... I said, if you can get the crab cakes from the seafood department, I want those. If you can't get the crab cakes from the seafood department, then refund. They're talking about two different things. Yeah. See, so what it comes down to is she wanted fresh (laughs) crab cakes from the seafood counter. And he went to the frozen seafood aisle. No, he did go to the counter. And he, he's but ba- they weren't there. But then yeah, he, sent exactly. her, he sent her a picture of the frozen exactly. seafood ones from the frozen seafood department. Yes. And so he said, I sent you the ones from the seafood department. And she's talking about a different seafood department. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's two, I shouldn't say two idiots. It's her, the idiot. Also, I don't know if she's an idiot. I, I, just, I just can't say, I, I've seen a lot of these where the, the people are talking. This to is people. so much more frustrating to me than ever going to a oh, supermarket. Oh, totally. I would also I did not realize this how often they bring you something you didn't order. Like oh, oftentimes o- you won't even get the text, they'll just fucking Yeah. Or I don't know. even get the notification for the text. So I check and they're going, Hello, hello, what hello. do you want me to do? Hello. I ended up just getting this. And okay, so first of all, this shit suck. I hate I when I used Instacart, I said, Oh yeah, get me some bananas. They got me the greenest bananas that you could fucking imagine. And I'm like, what kind of person gets these bananas? 
I still tipped him twenty. But that's not on. That's not on them because they probably deal with so many fucking people who go. Why did you not get the green ones? I need them to last a while. Yeah. That's why I got so many fucking bananas. And then they go, okay, I guess everyone wants green bananas. And then you get guys like you who are going, oh, I don't want these green bananas. I didn't. I said it to myself. I didn't fucking make a big stink out of it because I'm not one to make a big stink out of something like this. The only time I'm gonna make a big stink is when they're like, sure, I'm you know I'm right around the corner, and then 20 minutes later I'm like, hello, because one time. Domino's delivery driver. Turned out she was just sitting on the street having a having a chat on the phone, and I I let her finish, and I still tipped her. But boy, howdy, was I quietly frustrated to myself. I was like, my pizza's sitting in there getting cold. I can see you sitting in your car. How about you get out, and give me the pizza, please? I would have just knocked on the window and said, "Can I take the pizza?" Yeah. <laughs> can I, I take it? A, can I take a big the stink after that? Huh? I made a big stink out of it to myself. Can I take and the then pizza? In the toilet. You Domino's man. Sorry, that's the only thing I have to say. <laughs> I I got Domino's last night, by the way. And you made another. I hadn't stink. had it in a while, and I made a big stink out of it this morning. <laughs> uh, but the other you got to start letting loose on people. Just 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 screaming. No, there's no way. No, <laughs> you, I can't do it. The, I can't do it. I, one day, otherwise gonna you're snap. gonna yeah. I'm gonna be you like Michael, it out. It Michael Douglas and falling down. When we were coming back from New York yesterday. There was a um not me, him. The there was a they had lined everyone up by race. Yes. <laughs> and we said, No. We, we this feels fucked up. <laughs> the no, they were like, if you're in main cabin one over here, main cabin two over here, main cabin three over Sounds here. Sounds like American Airlines. It was actually Delta. Mm. Um and they said and so everyone lines up and it's a big long line. And then these fucking like two groups come in late. And they're looking at the lines and they're like, oh, and we can see them kind of angling to just get in. I'm angling, baby. And I'm like, this motherfucker. But we're kind of far away because we're going to cut. They did cut. We watched them cut. And I, it was a 767. So it's the two things. Two but aisles. In my mind, I thought it was going to be. And the whole time while we're getting on the plane, I'm like, I can't wait to fucking walk by this guy and be like, I was literally going to say, hey, uh, where are you from? And then. When he ever, whenever he said it, I was going to say, oh, do they not uh, fucking follow orders there? Get in line? Wait, wait, wait. So back up. So they were in like main cabin one and they, they missed they their- But they, they cut. Everyone had lined up and they got there later and then they just cut in. When the line started moving, they just kind of- And I was fucking furious. That's not cool. I assumed that it was like, okay, main cabin one has already no, cleared. No, 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 no. And Everyone's now two waiting. was in and they were like, we're, we no, were part no, of no, one. No, 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 How no, How would no. you feel about that? If, fine, if, if, fine, if boarding fine, group fine, one, fine, fine, wait, wait, wait. So yeah, if boarding group, because I've done that before where I was boarding group one and I missed it because I had to pee and then boarding group two is going and I, 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 I don't think you cut, get to actually. cut. I don't no, think you I get didn't. to cut. No. I didn't. I think I went to the side one for like first class. And but then like, we get hey, on I was boarding group and one. I'm like, damn, the guy's across the aisle. Uh, I was ready to fuck it. Hey, fuck face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't do it from across the aisle. Did you see that Dean Norris, the... Uh, the yeah, he saw some guy, some guy was getting kicked yeah, off. Or, the, one, of the, one of the guys from the show Breaking, Breaking Bad filmed the guy getting kicked off a plane and he captioned it like, we had to stop in Salt Lake City so they could let this asshole off the plane. And he was like some 20-year-old kid. It was funny. And the guy called him a motherfucker. Dean Norris was like, hey, motherfucker. Worth it. So one of the things that I don't like about Instacart and all this shit, they show you what the, what the grocery store has, and they don't even show you. Like, I was doing it from this Albertsons near me, and I knew for a fact that they carried- Bank shops at Albertsons? Not all the time, only for certain things, like my 0% Oikos Greek yogurt, 0% fat. And I knew that they had it, and uh, they just didn't even fucking list it on the thing. Pissed me off. Pissed me right the fuck off. They, but my, my point is they don't even list everything that they've got. Their Just inventory go the is dog store. shit. Go to the grocery store. And then they, store. they, why would they list things on there if they don't have them? There should be, it is 2024. They should have an, a constantly updating thing. So where you don't run into this issue where, oh, you've got to have it replaced. I, 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 I digress. I digress. So who's in the wrong? Both of them. All right, let's shift gears. Oh, oh Jesus. man, you gotta pop the clutch, man. I gotta. I want to drive a stick shift car. I haven't done that in so long. Buy a I new if car. I still could. Sell your car. Buy a new no, car. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna be buying a new car. So we b- briefly. You'll wait till it gets stolen. I'll wait till it gets stolen. It's not gonna happen. Nobody's gonna steal that fucking car because I put an air tag in it. 
Did you really? Yep. Nice. But then the air tag chirps sometimes. I guess I should put it somewhere outside the cabin, but inside, yeah, I'll get in and it'll go. It, I, I think it chirps because they, they added a feature because they don't want people sticking them on women's purses. Basically, yeah. Yeah. Great. So my potential future car thief is going to be like, oh shit, there's an air tag in here. Let's tear the place apart and find it. Yeah. Fuck. Pretty much every, we get, we release a technology and we're like, it's cool. You can use it for this. And, and then, then creep, creeps, creeps are like, go, actually, we're going to be nasty. Yeah. <laughs> and then they go, okay, we're adding a new feature. <laughs> okay. We, we actually, actually, we're going to be nasty. <laughs> that reminds me of how, uh, I was talking to, to a friend about this, how Joe Rogan, the only, which is mind-blowing to think about now, the only sponsor that he used to have when the podcast was, when his podcast was in the early days. Was AirTags? No, was Fleshlight. That's cool. I want And he that. would do 10-minute long ads with them. Just like fucking the thing. No, he, and, <laughs> no, he would say to the guest, he's like, hey, uh, J- or whoever, you know, you ever fuck one of these things? <laughs> That's what he would say. You ever fuck one of these things? They feel so good. And it, I'm telling you, his ad was compelling enough when I was a delivery boy 10 years ago. I was like, maybe I should try one of those. I did. <laughs> Why? Well, because he, he, was, he was just really selling the thing. This is the problem. We got to stop making jacking off better. <laughs> Make it worse. I mean, yeah, you could, <laughs> sure, you could. How would you make it worse? <laughs> <laughs> Using sandpaper or something? <laughs> yeah. No porn. Get rid of porn. Okay, shut it down. Texas did that. No. But then the libertarians would come after you and be like, I don't need a license to jack off. I should be able to jerk off whenever I want, wherever I want, without the government telling me what to do. Good. I'd love to make a libertarian go wait in line for a jack off license. (laughs) 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 He's got to go to the (laughs) JMV. (laughs) <laughs> Wait, what does the M stand for? <laughs> or the oh, the DMJ? Yeah, the, Department no, of the, the DOJ, the Department of the Dojo, yeah. the Department of Jacking Off. Yeah, man, that'd be great. Oh, they'd be so pissed. <laughs> and you know what's funny? Because libertarians still have to abide by the rules, even though they hate them. They they'd have to go wait in line. Yeah, <laughs> just like everybody, just like they got to do with the DMV. And they'd have little uh, like "Don't Tread on Me" flags with flashlights, like "Come and take it." it <laughs> have you seen those people who who like they read the wrong article or follow the wrong person and they think that they can declare themselves as like sovereign citizen no they get pulled over by the cops and they're like i'm actually a a sovereign uh, like independently sovereign i'm a member of my own nation kind of thing I'm I'm above your laws and your constitution. You can't lawful. You can't. Det- Am I detained? Am I being detained? <laughs> <laughs> the cop takes his wallet and a bunch of jack off licenses come out. A bunch of counterfeit jack off licenses. <laughs> Sir, are you intending to distribute these uh, counterfeit jack off licenses in the state of California? Am I being detained? <laughs> yeah, you are. Anyway, speaking of idiots. Uh, a bunch of idiots out there think that the bridge collapse in um, in Baltimore was due to black people. <laughs> That's, I wish I was kidding. I really I, I tried pulling up uh, I tried pulling up some of the tweet examples, but they were pissing me off too much. And there were also just so many. Uh, there was so much spam and and fake and bots and stuff. But it's basically because the ship was uh, <clears throat> staffed by. An entirely Indian crew. Indian crew. Yeah. Um, I mean, this shit just drives me nuts because it's like, I, I, everything's got to be a conspiracy, number one. Uh, yeah. So there's like, everyone's watching the video and going, I don't, I don't know, bro. That looks weird. That was questionable. That it was hit questionable. right into the bridge. Um, <laughs> 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 hit the bridge. And then... If it's not a conspiracy, it's like, oh, well, it's because we allowed uh, black people, uh, black people and Indian people to have jobs and that uh, ruined everything. But like the fucking the real thing is that it's just I mean, it's just all all so simple. It's like all this stuff is so um, like a product of what we've done and the way we've like shaped the world and where we've allocated resources and things like that, where like 
Uh, <clears throat> Failing infrastructure is not because Baltimore has a black mayor, which the, they do. The, the ship, the the MV Dali, is what crashed into the into the bridge. It's called a flag of conven a flag of convenience ship, which basically means that it's it really it has very little relation to the the flag the ship is flying where it's supposed to be from. It's kind of um, like how companies uh, incorporate in Delaware, kind of thing. Sure, yeah, yeah. and so this ship was chartered by the Danish shipping giant Maersk. It's operated by Synergy Marine Group and registered in Singapore. And then the ship's crew is made up of 22 foreign workers from India. <clears throat> and it's owned by yet another company, Grace Ocean Private Limited. So it's just like this mess all the way down of responsibility. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, there's no real, uh, you know, worldwide safety regulations like there are for, you know, after 9-11, <clears throat> people were worried about weapons coming in on ships and there was a whole... Um, on ships or planes? On shipping containers. And oh. so U.S. and other nations, you know, they created a whole thing for inspection, identification, and clearing um, clearing the contents of the containers. But nothing for, uh, you know, for safety measures, for... Ah. Uh, crew requirements, yeah. um, all of these things, and, and maintenance and everything like that, right? And so it's impossible to even like regulate this kind of thing, but of course it's just got to be... It's because they're... Also, this, this, um, this exposed me or in, in, in shined... I don't know what the term is. It, it made me become aware of a whole new racism that I didn't exist. There's apparently a lot of like hate on Indian people. Like big time, like oh yeah, these fucking Indian, really? You know they're like crazy smart, right? You thought they were immune? No, I I didn't think that they were. I just didn't think that they were the focus of uh, of uh, white American racists. Like oh, white American racists will really, really go for anybody. Yeah, it's true. They really <laughs> will. But they were they were um, <clears throat> they were really going hard. And then yeah, the the. The young black mayor of Baltimore, who got like I think over either seventy or ninety percent of the vote, uh, they were blaming it on him and saying, well, not blaming it on him, but being like, "Oh, great, the oh, wonderful, the DEI." Basically, DEI is now the new affirmative action. Yeah, like, like <clears throat> no, no, how it's affirmative the new, um, it's the it's new the new uh, what was it affirmative before? action? It was the fucking critical race theory. Yeah, Critical yeah. Critical race theory took over for that, and now you never hear about that anymore. Now it's all DEI. These See, are all so things. B before DEI, no bad things ever happened. Um, I mean, uh, Sully Sullenberger, man, when those pl when the, he was actually black, yeah. when those birds hit that plane and he had to land it on the Hudson, it's because they were uh, black. But no, he wasn't black. Excuse me. That's why he landed it safely. The guy who released those birds <laughs> was a black guy. <laughs> it's just it's it like <clears throat> if that happened today, they would find. That's my point, is if that were to happen today, they would find a way to blame DEI. And they're so close, because don't blame that. Blame the, the, the cost-cutting measures and the shortcuts that corporations take and continue to take in the name of profits and higher stock prices so that the executives can get better compensation packages. That's, that's the thing. Dude, it's I saw not, a... Um, what? I saw a... On my Explore page, it was like a stand-up clip, you know? Mm-hmm. And I clicked it. It was actually pretty funny. So I was like, holy shit, who is this guy? And, um, and then the rest of his page was a lot more stand-up clips, but then also weird, uh, you know, the, the TikTok-y, TikTok-y like sketch stuff. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> he, one of them, one of the newest ones was him being like, boarding a plane in 2024 and he, he's getting on the plane and he points it towards the cockpit and he's like first check to make sure your pilot isn't a dei hired black woman and i was like holy shit and then like it just goes on to be like make sure you're boeing and the whole thing was like weirdo dei like sketches and i was like whoa yeah it's really remarkable how how some of these people really believe this um this dog shit ideology and what's a shame is it it gets in the way of uh otherwise valid criticisms for whatever hiring practices some companies might employ 
Yeah. I mean, also, it's just it's just not a fucking... I mean, maybe I'll eat my words. I just don't think there's a conspiracy here. This ship also, in 2016, uh, it was part of another accident, um, collided with the berth... Collided with the berth at the container terminal in Antwerp, caused significant damage. Um, yeah, I don't. I just think no one's really. <clears throat> there's a there's a black pilot that I follow on Twitter who's uh, who's a pilot for Delta, and he just set like the speed record for a certain route. I can't remember what route it is. Damn, I want to get on that plane. Yeah, man, that guy's get- hauling ass, <laughs> dude. Seriously, I mean, sometimes yeah, they they get up in that jet stream and they're just. They're probably in the cockpit just going, yeah! <laughs> That'd be so fun. Should we do... Should Pack we do, us in and just fly a freaking 767 <clears throat> into the jet stream. Should we do SBF and then close out on this guy? Yeah, SBF... Uh, S- some people were... They, they were they were like, oh. I think, I think the SBF <laughs> sentencing happened the day our last episode came out. Boy, that sentencing, it, uh, it was punctuated with quite an exclamation point, if you ask me. That sentence. Yeah, okay. 25, 25 years. Yeah. Which for him is basically, you know, that's his whole fucking life right there. His parents are going to be long dead by the time he gets I out. would have to say, I'd be horrible at uh, at this. It's, um, you know. At what? At, at having to hand this down. I, I can't. Oh. I can't handle. I'd feel too bad. I can't handle someone. Um, Seeing their life ruined? Yeah. I yeah, mean, it was like uh, just reading about it and listening to it, the, you know. There's this quote from Sam where he said, "My useful life is probably over after." His I wouldn't say probably, bro. It's 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 over. It's very well. I guess you know he could maybe help rehabilitate his fellow. But prisoner. so uh, the you know Sam's lawyers went first, and we're talking about how you know he that's the whole thing. And his fucking mom wrote a letter to the judge about how Sam just wants to do good in the world. Ever since he was a little boy, he was reading he was reading philosophy that uh, that just that helped him kind of center his, his moral view of the world and how it's, you just want to help people. And, um, the, <clears throat> his lawyers talked about how he just had this like calculating brain and he just can't help it and all this stuff. Sounds like it might've been a DEI judge then. Uh, DEI jury. Why? <laughs> <laughs> He, uh, but I, I truly, I, I mean, I believe these things about his character, and I honestly think that part of what corrupted him was Adderall. No, I think so because at at its core, he had this viable business in FTX that was legitimate and functioning and successful by pretty much any metric you choose. And then on the other side, he had his hedge fund that was sucking ass and failing. And he was so hopped up on Adderall, he couldn't accept the failure of his hedge fund. So he did the illegal thing, and he siphoned money from the successful business. I also think you pro- you might have a different view of it. Like, if you've talked to people who actually have ADD or ADHD, the Adderall Helps. interacts with their brain differently I think, than like sure. us just like taking Adderall that we don't need and and like absolutely flying. I think that he, there's a little bit of both going on there with him. Well. <clears throat> The government lawyers were not buying it, and they were basically like, nah, sorry, this guy stole billions of dollars, mm. and like, yeah, everyone stop being fucking weird. Um, they, <laughs> like, uh, you know, and they said, he's shown no more remorse, and he's likely to do this again. And that calculating brain you're talking about, like, yeah, he's like obsessed with mathematics and always making these calculations, and if, if the math makes sense to him, he, he wants to do it again. Uh, and, you know, he showed that he had no remorse over this, Talking about attempting to tamper witnesses while he's out on bail, mm. uh, trying to control True. the narrative with journalists. Um, Tiffany. <clears throat> yeah. And, By the way. And the, just this whole cost-benefit analysis to everything he does. And then he stood up and made like a weird, he did like, he gave like a 20-minute rambling speech about how he's, you know, sorry for what happened. And basically that he kept making clear FTX members can be made whole by the assets. Uh and then <clears throat> Judge Clapton was basically like, no, like get Clapton Kaplan. Sorry. Oh, that man. was a, was uh, like, it Eric? would be sick if Eric Clapton was like soloing and being like, you're going to fucking jail. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but <clears throat> yeah, he also brought up how, you know, SBF committed perjury while he was on trial, like multiple times saying that he, you know, 
he didn't know that Alameda was using FTX customer f- funds, lying again about when he actually learned about FTX using the the funds to pay loans, and when he found out the missing cust- when he found out they were missing the custom ugh, the customer money. Um, so yeah, he just he didn't give a shit. It's like even if they were be able to be made whole, he said it's basically like if it was any other business owner, and um, he took a bunch of customer money, and then, went well, to, I gave it back, went to Vegas, bet. And one big, it's that's like good, if he got good. if he got caught, you wouldn't be like, ah, well, he he still has the money, so it's fine. Yeah, um, it's still theft. And yeah, I, I was listening to some FDX customers. They were at they were asking them how they felt now that he's going to be going to jail for a while, and uh, they basically said that it still feels um, it still feels unresolved because the bankruptcy is still going forward. So that's not all unresolved and i think when that all unwinds they'll 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 know what kind of settlement they're getting from ftx and everything yeah kind of like uh to to that analogy it's kind of like uh bernie madoff when when the ponzi scheme was still fully going people were getting their payments they were getting their income their yeah. money but it was all <clears throat> from a shitty source. They brought up Bernie Madoff too. And it's funny, they were trying to distinguish him from Bernie Madoff and they were like, Bernie Madoff got 150 years. Like Sam Bankman fried is so different. It's like, yeah, he, so he's going to get 25 years. It's yeah. a much smaller... Uh, <clears throat> the judge was kind of brutal too. He he brought up... Um, he says, you know, SBF had like every privilege. He's got very smart parents who are law professors. He got to go to the best schools. He had all this stuff. And then he basically says he went to... Um, Jane Street, the trading, <clears throat> the trading firm, and he basically learned about playing games with money and got hooked on it. Yeah, I'm trying to make some kind of joke in my head about the the girl from the beginning. Well, don't of the make episode. it on your head. Make it on the show. So I don't know. Maybe some kind of joke about how that's the type of guy that you have in your dating pool. So you might as well marry a rich older guy. Ooh, that should have been a caveat in the um in the article. Sometimes you get an SBF who very rich but stupid but also stupid. Might, end, might, Socially end, might end up going to jail. A lot yeah. of them a lot of them end up going to jail. So you got to be careful. In jail, you got to make sure you get a nice French one. Speaking of jail, we're going to we're going to leave you with this little little ditty. There's a stock that we've covered a few times called MicroStrategy whose whole thing is Bitcoin. Michael Saylor is a big Bitcoin uh what do they call them? Evangelist? Yeah, but there's another word. Investor. Maximalist. Max- maximalist. He's a big Bitcoin guy, huge. He's like seven feet tall. Nice, he did huge it. Huge guy. He didn't do it in the beginning of the episode, but I knew he would do it. 500 pounds, seven feet tall, massive dude. Gigantic. And, yeah. But uh, so they, this, as the stock has been rising, there's obviously a lot of um, contentious opinions out there about whether or not the, the company is legitimate and all that shit. So last week, while I was in Hawaii, this guy puts out this short report and- I won't get into the details on the short report, but uh, it turns out this guy, I mean, it was like eight years ago, but it's still just a great, it's just too good a headline and little bits of this story. So this hedge fund guy who came out with this short report on MicroStrategy in 2016 was arrested on DUI and cocaine charges in the Hamptons. His name is Sam Adrangi, Adrangi, whatever. Founder and chief investment officer of Carisdale Capital uh, was ar- arrested um, in the Hamptons. And uh, just this part is just, it's just a perfect sentence. It's such a stereotype. The 35 year old Yale grad reportedly was behind the strike one, was behind the wheel of a 2015 BMW convertible, strike two, at 3 a.m., strike three, on Montauk Highway in Amagansett, New York, strike four. You, know, you got to be careful what kind of uh, boyfriend you date, rich, rich older boyfriend. Yeah, because some of them are going to. Uh... When it crashed into an SUV going in the other direction, um, he <laughs> he was given a speeding citation in addition to the DUI and cocaine related charges. Had his license suspended, and uh, spent spent Saturday morning in jail because of his refusal to take a breath test after the crash. He only got a thousand dollar bail. Typical. I mean, back then, before inflation, that was like $100,000 now. 
Jeez. Yeah, in 2016, a thousand bucks was roughly a hundred thousand. Way, 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 yeah. way more. I, it went, so, so in 2015, my rent was twenty five dollars. Also, when CNBC apparently called his office in Manhattan for a comment, a receptionist said he's in a meeting right now and took a message. Is it important? He's in a meeting, and he didn't call back, which is unsurprising. So that's that. That's the whole episode. By the way, I went to. Speaking of inflation prices, I went to Costco in Hawaii. And Dude, you try s- for some reason being there in person and seeing the price of the hot dog for a dollar fifty. It really is shocking. It's like that's insane that they're offering a hot dog. Why'd you go to Costco when you were there for like five for that days? much? Because we needed to get some food for. I was staying at Tony's house. He's like, let's go to Costco. Let's get some food. I I I don't have any food. We got eggs and we got stuff. It's extremely expensive there for basics like milk and eggs. You hit the hard K there. Milk and eggs. Yeah. We Let me get, hit a hard K. Let me well, hit a hard K from time to we time. Got, uh, we got a big old, I don't know. Brother, I don't pay attention to the prices. If I need it, I'm getting it. Except for ma- uh, except for these sumo oranges. Sumo oranges are so fucking good. But they are quite literally like $3 an orange. It's uh, out of control. That's too much for you. That's too, uh, no, I'll still get it because they're just that good. But I'm only getting three or four at a time. Twelve then, bucks on oranges. This guy spent it. Oh, they're so twelve good. twelve bucks a week. They peel perfectly for just twelve bucks a week. You can get this moron. They've got like a nipple. They've got just like a big nipple that you bite off, and it's like a grenade, and you spit it out, and then you can peel it. It peels easier than a cutie. It peels like nothing. And You're then spending it, close to five hundred bucks a year on oranges. These are good oranges. They're Did good. I do the math on that right? I don't, I don't even fucking know. Nobody can be sure. Anyway, that wrap, 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 wraps it up for this <clears throat> episode. They did to join us in the bonus at Ben and Emil Show dot com. Suck me. <laughs>